Hi, I'm Liam. I work in private equity in Mayfair and I live in Soho in central London. Um, my, my parents invited me to come down and, and be a bit more communal by sharing um, the lockdown time with them. And unfortunately, my, my dad has a, a breathing condition, which means that if he did get coronavirus, it's likely to be a lot more problematic for him. Um, and I'm extremely extrovert, so the probability that I'd pick something up wasn't zero. Um, so I stayed I stayed in London. Um, the way that I try to keep community going whilst being completely isolated in a one bedroom flat in Soho um, is uh, in a few ways. One of them is, is literally every now and again to open the windows um, and to play music to pretty much passers by on the streets. Um, Soho is very quiet. Um, and if it's a nice sunny day, you get people cycling by on their one piece of allowable exercise. And so I'll put the the, the DJ deck so I'm put the, a PA speaker up and, and play to my community and other than that it's very standard so I'm spending more time than I than I knew possible um, on video chats and just chatting on the phone and I like um, as part of my um, daily walk to, to, to put a headset on and, and call a friend and then wander around um, the park whilst chatting which makes me feel a lot more connected and like I've actually really engaged with people. Um, during this time I that way I can, you actually have a lot more opportunities to both totally ignore God and stay connected with him. Um, and the, the way I've tried to stay connected with God is actually through a, a process of trying to just accept that although I'm extremely extrovert, there's a lot of things that I can't do right now. And what I can do instead is take that chance to um, just feel the real peace and just be, be quiet um, in myself. Um, not always super easy if you're me and I can find myself getting distracted in the middle of praying. Um, but I, I have a real sense of, of kind of God with us um, on our way through this um, and um, a, a great sense of peace, which is lovely. Um, the Bible verse that I, I, I think about uh, and kind of really define the way I view Christianity to, to a great extent is one of them is is the way that we'd be recognized as disciples was was love, which is kind of John thirteen thirty five of um, how, that this is how the world shall know that you are my disciples for your love for one another. And the other one, um, which I think can be super helpful at a time when we're all locked down, is um, when Jesus was asked the greatest commandments in Matthew 22, he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul and strength. And then he says, love your neighbour as yourself. And I think the important bit there is not just that we um, love our neighbour, but that we're doing it as we love ourselves and, and, and we have to love ourselves too. And at a time where it can be very easy to kind of fall out of your routine, really um, continuing to... Um, be good to yourself and make space um, and be kind to yourself and your your feelings your emotions I think is really important and I guess um, in, in many ways that's my survival tip too which is I mean I, I don't think it's a great idea to expect too much of yourself right now um, and kind of cause disappointment by all the things you thought you were going to do um, if you want to have a rest then now is a great time to rest if you want to binge watch Netflix then I don't think anybody's going to be able to materially judge you when you're on the, uh, the other side um, and then um, a little bit of time is just if you are out and about on your daily walk, then smiling at strangers kind of, um, if you're an extrovert like me, kind of makes you feel like you've connected.